Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and today I am in my garage. My garage is a little bit lower than the main floor of my house so we have these stairs that come up this way and then behind me we have this bit of a landing that has turned into storage that turned into a big mess. So in today's video I'm gonna work on quickly decluttering this and just getting it into better shape so that it is more functional. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and basically I'm just gonna work on getting everything that is in the way out of the way first so that we have some space to work with. I'm also gonna give the floor a really good vacuum because that hasn't been done for a while. And <laughs> we have this guy who is a mess. So let's get started. Actually, bin so let's clean it so this bin I think would be really good to put all of this stuff in. Okay. I wanted to see if it would fit with the bag it doesn't so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in I do have a puppy food that I'm giving my dog because he's only one, but uh, I've been slowly transitioning him to uh, an adult food as well, so I'm just mixing the two right now. That's why I have two different types of dog food and need two bins for the dog food. rest of this dog food in the other container. Okay, so bottom shelf, I have air filters for our air purifier, Swiffers, garbage bags, an empty, dirty bin, and dog treats. It's totally random, doesn't make any sense, has no function. So let's get this all taken down and then start reorganizing the shelves. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this bin. So I'm thinking it would make more sense to use this bin for all my vacuum parts that are in this shopping bag here. OK, 
Okay, so everything fits in this bin. I have a whole bunch of robot vacuum parts that I wasn't even aware that we had, so that's good to know. So that should be able to hang here. Dang. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So we can just hang this right up here. That'll work like that, I think. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on getting the rest of the stuff off the shelves and then I'm gonna give the shelves a good wipe down before we can get everything back on the shelves. Look, I've got dog stuff mixed with gardening stuff, mixed with cleaning supplies. It makes absolutely no sense. Spare planters, I don't even like this, so this is getting rid of. I have two cooler bags. These can go in a different location. They don't need to be out here because they get all dusty and dirty and that's kind of gross. So I went and put our cooler bags where our beach towels are. And in one of the drawers, I found these to hang up uh, wreaths on the front door, but they don't fit our front door. For whatever reason, I kept them, and that doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate these. So clearing stuff off generally results in this. It's just a mess and this is the part where I always second guess myself and think what have I done but it's so important to just power through and you'll be so glad you did. On these shelves I need to store all of our gardening supplies so like fertilizers, tools, gloves, um, any pesticides or bug sprays that we have as well as uh, tools and then I have some boxes of things like felt feet, extension cords, light bulbs, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure how those are going to best fit on these shelves but I will start playing around with it to see what works best. I'm thinking it probably makes the most sense to put all of my gardening stuff maybe on this shelf here because uh, it's accessible and then maybe we'll put all the dog things up top because the kids tend to go a little crazy giving the dog treats and that's not the best thing for him so I am going to start with that but first I see a spider in that upper corner so I'm gonna get the vacuum and get rid of that guy
Okay, flashlights can go here so they're nice and accessible. I am actually going to make a little bit more space for light bulbs because this is really full. Um, these are extension cords, so I'm just going to move it over here so we have more space for light bulbs because I know that there are light bulbs somewhere else in my house that need to go here. I've got a half used box of Swiffer cloths in our garage. We don't even use Swiffer cloths on the main floor of our house. We only use them in our bathrooms, which are upstairs. So I'm going to move this upstairs where it'll actually get used. I have these ice cream bins that I would used for seedlings at one point, and I've just taken them and put all of my gardening gloves in one. I've got a couple extra planters and tomato things in the other and all of the tools are in a third. So really, really easy way of organizing. It was free because I already have these bins on hand and it's not pretty, but it's functional. So that's a win in my book. I've got all of the um, soil and poisons and traps and stuff up on the top shelf there. So the dog and the kids won't get into those. And then I've got all of our bins of tools so my husband's toolbox is in a different room right now but that was gonna fit right in this spot here and then just miscellaneous stuff here so I've got my bucket next to my mop which makes way more sense trash bags and burlap sacks for insulating my outside trees so let's finish up the rest of this and get completed with this project Okay, so now I have the challenge of getting everything to fit in this space. I have two big bins of dog food, I have a step stool, I have two bins for recycling, I have a boot rack that doesn't fit um, this way, and I also have a bag of charcoal for the barbecue. So I'm just going to play around with everything, see what fits best, and then uh, hopefully it is more functional for us. Okay, recycling bins fit uh, this way, so I think the recycling bins there is gonna work better for us because they were uh, kind of right in the way of the stairs and it was kind of a log jam when we were going up and down the stairs to get from our car or to our car. So I think keeping the hallway clear is way more functional. Another example of why are we keeping this? This is a cone of shame for my dog. Um, it is broken. Why we kept it, couldn't tell you, but it needs to get recycled now. This bin here that I moved all the vacuum parts to is quickly losing its shape and is not gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and move everything back to that bag and just keep it as was, as it was because it was functional and at least now I know what was in that bag. I know I've got some dog stuff in these bins and I believe I also have some light bulbs in these bins. Again, why by my front door? I don't know why I would store light bulbs there, but I did. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put the light bulbs with the other light bulbs and um, put all the dog stuff together because I also have dog stuff in a drawer uh, over there. So I will show you that in a second. This is what I mean. When I do this, I just forget it's there. So I've got in this basket, I've got mittens, I've got dog bags, I've got a headlamp, and I've got mask lanyards. And the only thing that I knew that was in this basket was dog bags. So not helpful. Let's get this better organized. The headlamp I'm going to put with the flashlights. Mittens I'm going to put with mittens. Dog stuff with dog stuff. This basket now only has stuff for face masks. So it's got extra filters, lanyards, etc. So everything is in one spot. By my front door, I have the secretary desk and in the bottom drawer is where I keep all of the dog stuff. So why I started putting dog stuff in the garage and um, on the top shelf with the masks, I don't know because I essentially forgot it was there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything in here and also give it a quick declutter and get rid of the things that I haven't even touched in months. And of course this guy's curious of what I'm doing. Aren't you? Aren't you? Hey, look, there's one last puppy treat. Do you want it? Okay, sit. Oh, good sit. Okay, go oh, boy. Another declutter, I can get rid of this empty bag. These are dry, that's garbage. This was puppy food that made my dog smell terrible, so we'll get rid of this. Brushes, we use these. Puppy toothbrush, I'm not gonna use this. He would um, not like this at all, and I don't think it would clean his teeth very well. This is not gonna fit in here, but I can put this beside the bench where all of our shoes are kept and it'll be just fine there. I had lost this, or so I thought. This uh, glows so that you can see my black dog in the dark because otherwise he disappears. Okay, so everything fit in this drawer. There's still room to spare. I've got my dog towels. I've got um, balls, collapsible bowls, long line, all of his brushes and dog bags and flea and tick medicine. Um, and then just an extra roll of dog bags. So that all is in one spot now. And I know where to look for dog stuff. All right. So everything is nice and organized now. This took me probably a little less than an hour and things are so much more functional now. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'm really happy that I finally did this. This was one of those silly projects that had been bugging me for weeks if not months and I just kept putting it off and today was just the day and it's done and I'm really happy with it. Okay, just a quick tour. When you come up the stairs, there is the um, boot mat right beside the doormat, so we can put all of our gum boots and muddy boots there. Step stool, got two bins of dog food, and the two recycle bins, so those are out of the way over there. And then I've got cleaning supplies and burlap uh, beside the mop and the vacuum. Tools more miscellaneous hardware like light bulbs, extension cords, flashlights, plumbing supplies, spare parts, doorknobs, and then on the top shelf we have um, just some miscellaneous stuff. So I've got soil for my house plants. I've also got some poisons, so raid for um, when we get an underground wasp nest and diatomaceous earth. We've also got more plant supplies up here, 
ice skates, dog treats, our ice cream buckets for gardening tools, and all of the fertilizers. I've got an extension cord and a place to put it. That makes me so happy that I did this project.